Hello. Just one second. I think that's the wrong screen. Um. Okay. There you go. Um. I just, I just tend to walk a lot. Um, so hello, my name is Guillermo, and I do work at Badoo, that's true. I'm not sure if I'm gonna fill the 10 minutes, because this is kind of short. But first, um, like Ken Wheeler, thank you, uh, said once in React London, wakey, wakey. Uh, it's after lunch, I know, but come on. Uh, so how many of you uh, are native developers? So, how many of you tried to tell your team, hey, what about using React Native? How, how were the faces? Something like... <laughs> Mac being bank. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's a bit of, of the story uh, I, I bring here. Um, so, does it work? Yeah, that's me. And that's my slide that was done to me, but um, don't really like it because this looks like I did all the thing. That's not true. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's a second person involved in this that is here in the um, in the public. He's the the React guy in the company. So go to him, bother him, not me. Um, but yeah, so I was talking to Rafa, um, and and we were talking, 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 and he was introducing React, uh, and was. You know, it would be a nice idea if we, we, we convince people to use React Native because maybe the, there is a place for it. Uh, but why would we use React Native? Well, what is Badoo first? So who knows what is Badoo? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, who has used it? <laughs> I haven't. Uh, I mean, I have a friend who has a friend <laughs> that told the other friend. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So we are a dating company. Uh, we have several brands, and we are huge. I mean, huge. 119 languages, uh, countries, uh, 47 languages, uh, three, three, 355 um, uh, registered users, massive. Um, and we are a bunch of people as well. Um, in our London office, I think we are 300 now. Our, we are 15 Android developers, 15 iOS developers, a lot of people. But you know what, there's a lot of, uh, of, of things as well, a lot of changes. So we have our use cases, we thought, well, how can we use this? Um, where, where would it be useful to use React Native for us? Well, we have, we have a few platforms uh, for all these users. So we have our Android phones that I like the most, I'm an Android developer. Um, we have iOS phones, we used to have Windows phones, we don't have them anymore. <laughs> Um, you know what we ran in all of those devices? A-B tests. Thousands of them. Like, seriously, these people are crazy about A-B tests. If I want you to remember something after today, it's like Padu equals A-B tests. Um, so for us de developers, it, it requires like pushing a lot of changes, and you need to program them, and you need to scale them, because you, the, then the numbers need to be significant. It's a pain in the ass. So we thought, hey, Maybe we can run A-B tests in React Native and code push, um, and everything will be great and everyone will be happy. But, well, one does not simply introduce React Native, right? So we had some requirements before React Native. Um, bef before React Native was introduced, uh, I talked to the mobile web team uh, in, in London, uh, which Rafa is part of, and we, we talked about several steps. So. There were some hybrid solutions being considered by, by other tech teams. Um, there were some other solutions that are not hybrid, but maybe, um, summary, um, that were being considered. Uh, uh, we were going to try them because we had a Windows Phone team that didn't really know what to do with their lives. Um, that they're, they have joined my team now. Uh, I, I like them. They're cool guys. And then Mobile Web Team introduced React, thanks to Rafa, the React guy. 
And then it was like, okay, we are in good track. We, we can do something. And then the React community was building momentum, and React Native was all over the place. And even when I was going to Facebook office for a uh, Android presentation, they were presenting Yoga Layout. Yeah, it's React Native. Oh, wow, it's all over the place. So great, great news, right? Just, just ship it. They put React Native there, right? Uh, not so fast. <laughs> So there are problems. Uh, yeah, I was mentioning before, uh, we needed to convince uh, our management that yeah, we're gonna spend a shitload of time into doing this. And we have to convince developers because when they hear React Native, they don't react, uh, not, not all of them react enthusiastically. Like when I hear React Native, they're like, yeah, let's do it. Some of them, they're, they feel a bit insecure. Uh, solutions, why solutions? Well, but this, this is an actual sentence by the boss of the boss of my boss. Don't come to me with problems, come to me with solutions. So I guess I had to do it. Um, so how do you convince your managers? You build prototypes. You, tell, you do something like this. This is a video stole from Rafa. Um, and you show them, yeah, you see side to side. This is in a few hours. You can do this. Um, then their, their eyes turn money because time is money. Uh, wow, great, convinced. How do you devel uh, convince developers? Prototypes, but different. You show them this. This is something you will never ever get in Android. I mean, you can, kind of can, but it's great. It's amazing. As a developer, it feels great and lets you do amazing things. All these tools, the Chrome Debugger. Um, if you get into Redux, you can inspect all the, all the uh, actions and stuff. That's how you get onboard developers. You get you need to think on how, what do they want and how to get to them. Um, and great, life is great, and we convince everyone, and now we have future work. Why do we want to say future work? Why don't you say current work? Like, you have to, why you stop doing stuff? Uh, so, current work, what are we doing now? We have some issues with our network layer. We don't use HTTP, basically, uh, because we are two hipsters. Uh, so we need to figure out that, and we need to wire that to React. Um, our native navigation integration, everyone has seen Airbnb, brown bag development talk. We are now there, uh, we need to figure out something and then possibly uh, experiment something in production because that's how you demonstrate your numbers. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, um, I don't have results because it's still an ongoing experiment. That's my excuse. Uh, but uh, just feel free to come to me to any questions and, and to me and Rafa, especially Rafa. Um, Jinkuya.